Hey guys, Mattello here again, and this is sort of a response to the other video again that I made, which was a response to JL2952597, something like that video. Um, yeah, like I made his piston snake going up. If you haven't seen my video, go ahead and check it out. And I saw a comment by Monkey Rash who asked what the um thing the repeaters were set on, and if I can make it more compact and sort of hide it and stuff and so yeah so I just built pretty much built it again with this tower this is the outside where all the wire is exposed you can't really hide this and this seems to be the smallest most compact way that I can do it just turn on fly mode here for a sec so what I did is all this wiring as you see here and these blocks going up the wall these just go to two separate switches on two separate floors I have one floor here as I go around you can see it, floor, switch, and a second switch up there which goes to that one, and all I did with this current is just take it straight down. Pretty simple. This one just powers a torch so you can tell when it's on and off. And so yeah, that's all I did with those. I have three switches and I wired them all up to these, I think they're like DRX gates or something. I can't remember. But then, Let's say if you just wanted one switch, you just have a switch right here. The switch powers into this, goes into that block. I'm pretty sure you can just look on the Minecraft wiki for a 4 slash 5 clock repeater. You have this repeater in the clock repeater set on 3 ticks. You see, that's what it is when you place it down, you hit it twice, and there you go. From that, you take it off, you go to an inverter, because we need it to be constantly on. The inverter then splits off to two separate parts, one that powers one side, the other that powers the other side. One side needs three ticks, as you can see here, one, two, that's three ticks. This one is you just leave it the same as when you place it down, which is completely fine. And then straight from the first one goes to the first torch, or a torch, it doesn't really matter. The second, then you, like, sorry, then you split it off, goes up, oop, there's a torch right here on this block, and this one is set on four ticks, the very last one. Then it goes through, around, up, to another one which is set on four, and then the torch. And the same for that other side of the row of torches. That's pretty much all you need to do is just between, for every block that you need to power with a torch on it, as you can see the torches are off, you need to have a repeater set on four before it powers it. Same thing with this one, and if you look, torch, missing, torch, right here, if you look straight across, there is a torch on the other side. And so yeah, this is probably the most compact I could do at least. I can probably hide all this and shorten it down. These are just for having multiple switches without having to worry about too much redstone wiring and all that crap. So here I'll turn off fly mode and I'll demonstrate it again. Now, these holes with the redstone there, I can't really help this if I put block a block you know block and go all the way up and then make the pistons on the side here it'll start and then it'll freeze the reason for that is that redstone will power the block that it's pointing at so like if there's a block right here it'll be powered by that piece of redstone right there and this one and I don't know if it's a bug or it's just how redstone works but it really pisses me off so anyway, allow me to demonstrate this again. It's just the same. Place that, two blocks, destroy the block, and then place a sticky piston. Pretty simple. Hit the switch and off you go. You see the torch flashes, that tells you it's on. The higher you go up, the more lag it is between hitting a switch and stopping, which is just a redstone wiring issue. It's not that much of an issue. Just get up there, and there's a switch right there. Click the switch and you'll see. It'll keep going until it gets to about there. Yeah, see? And there's another floor up there with the same switch. And at the very top I put a piece of obsidian so it doesn't go on forever and then you have to place blocks to get up and destroy it. To get back down, I would destroy those and then fall down here. So yeah. Um. That's it, that's probably the most compact slash hidden 
way I could do it that's all the repeaters and everything for you guys and thanks for watching <laughs>